Imagine you write about a girl and then one day, that girl shows up in your life as your girlfriend. This plot belongs to the movie Ruby Sparks, which was released in 2012. Let's get started. Turn on the subtitles and spoilers ahead. The main character of the movie is Calvin, a young writer who's been struggling to find inspiration for his new book. In his teenage years, Calvin wrote a very popular and successful book called Heartbroken Old Times, but since then he hasn't written any other story. At the 10th anniversary party of his book, Calvin feels very out of place and out of touch with the people around him. He's very much aware of how people label him as a once successful writer who never put out another book since his first release 10 years back. He's also not fond of how women approach him just because they read his book and believe him to be someone who he's not. In this struggle to find inspiration and mend relationships, Calvin sees a psychiatrist called Dr. Rosenthal who advises him to write anything. Dr. Rosenthal stresses that he should just write about whatever that comes to his mind and, and not worry about it being good or bad. Calvin goes home and falls asleep on his couch. Then he dreams about a girl who he has never met in real life. He dreams of an encounter with this beautiful girl in a park while he's out with his dog, Scotty. The girl asks if she can draw Scotty and sits down. She starts to have a conversation with Calvin and draws attention to how Calvin named his dog after Scott F. Fitzgerald so he can feel superior to his favorite novelist. Calvin wakes up from his sleep and immediately gets struck by inspiration. He sits in front of his typewriter and starts writing away about his short dream encounter with this girl. Slowly, he adds on more to his dream and writes for days and nights. He simply can't stop writing and soon enough, he has a story which he feels can be something. Calvin takes his unfinished story to Dr. Rosenthal and thanks him for suggesting that he write about anything. Calvin is excited that this story can lead to a great book, but there's one little problem. Although it's fiction, Calvin is writing about himself and what he wants in his life with this mysterious girl involved. He's scared that he's put too much of himself in the story and he's immersed himself into it to a point that he writes to spend more time with the girl. Dr. Rosenthal asks Calvin to tell him about the girl he's writing about. Calvin then tells him the backstory of this girl, who he has named Ruby Sparks. Calvin has thought of Ruby's entire life story, where she was born, who she had a crush on, and what sort of people she's ended up dating. Calvin thinks of Ruby as this complicated and imperfect girl who wants a change in her life and finally a serious relationship. One day, Calvin's brother Harry and his wife come over to the house to spend time with him. When he finds a woman's razor in the bathroom closet, Calvin goes down to ask if it belongs to Harry's wife. But to his surprise, Harry finds a bra on his couch, which Calvin has no idea of. Calvin believes that his dog Scotty brought it over from his neighbor's garage. Later, Calvin finds his brother reading his manuscript and asks what he thinks of it. Harry replies that the love story he has written isn't realistic and moreover, the girl he's written about isn't anything close to what a real woman is. Harry ends his feedback by concluding that Calvin doesn't know anything about women, so he should stop writing this particular story. But despite his brother's unsupportive comments, Calvin sits down and continues writing about Ruby. He continues the story where it leads up to Ruby falling in love with him and they start a relationship. The next morning, Calvin hurries to get to a very important meeting with his publishers about his new book. But on the way out, he sees Ruby standing in front of him in the kitchen. Calvin believes that he got himself so caught up in his own story that he started to imagine Ruby as a real person in his life. Calvin starts to panic as he doesn't want him to be labeled a crazy writer. He tries to assure himself that Ruby isn't real, but what he sees before him makes him question his sanity. He asks Ruby if the bra he found last night is hers, to which Ruby answers, yes. He immediately calls Harry and informs him about the situation. Harry is busy with his own meeting and he doesn't believe that Ruby can be real as Calvin is suggesting. Harry recommends Calvin to see a friend and clear out his mind, but the problem is Calvin has no friends. So he phones the girl who gave him her number at one of his book signings. He sets up a date with her in order to get his mind out of the Ruby situation. However, Ruby has followed him there as well and is shocked to see her boyfriend sitting with another girl. She introduces herself as Calvin's girlfriend. Calvin doesn't pay any attention to Ruby as he believes her to not be real. But when everyone around him acknowledges that the girl in front of him is indeed real, Calvin finally realizes that his creation has come to life. He follows Ruby, who's angry after witnessing her boyfriend on a date with another girl. He tries to calm her down and the couple end their argument with a kiss. With Calvin coming to terms that his fiction has become reality, he meets his brother and he tells him about everything. Harry believes that Calvin has gone really mad and suggests that he see his doctor more often for now. But Calvin, in an attempt to prove his sanity, asks his brother to come and see for himself. Harry goes to Calvin's house and there he sees Ruby. 
After seeing that his brother wasn't lying, Harry's at a loss for words. He now knows that Calvin wasn't lying, but he's still skeptical of Ruby. He warns his brother, what if some random girl read his manuscript and is now pretending to be Ruby to get close to him? To test if this is true, Harry suggests writing something about Ruby which they can notice immediately. If whatever they write comes true, it's a miracle. If it doesn't, then the girl's pretending to be Ruby and is a liar. Calvin sits down and writes that Ruby can speak perfect French, and within seconds, Ruby starts speaking in French like it's her native language. Now they know for certain that Ruby is indeed a creation of Calvin's writing. Calvin goes back and makes Ruby switch back to English so they can understand her. During the whole dinner, Harry is just mesmerized by what his brother has created. After dinner, he tells Calvin that he can be the happiest man in the world. He can literally control his girlfriend and make her do anything. Calvin makes it clear to his brother that even if Ruby came out of his creation, he will let her be however she wants and won't control her. With that, the two officially begin living together and Calvin couldn't be happier. One day, Ruby sees that Calvin's mother had invited him to her house for a family get-together, which Calvin doesn't want to go to. Ruby feels Calvin doesn't want to introduce her to his mother and feels sad about it. To make his girlfriend happy, Calvin agrees to go visit his mother and takes Ruby with her. Calvin's mother immediately takes a liking to Ruby and is impressed by her. Calvin's mom introduces Ruby to her boyfriend, Mort. During their stay, everyone is having fun and enjoying their time, while Calvin is busy reading books all by himself. Mort's trying to get close to Calvin, but Calvin tries to avoid him as much as he can. When they get back home, Calvin is still busy reading books and doesn't pay attention to Ruby, who starts to get bored as she doesn't have anything to do. Ruby finally speaks to Calvin about how lonely she's been feeling lately. Calvin suggests she take some art classes to freshen her mind. Ruby then adds to his idea and suggests they live separately once a week. Calvin is hesitant, but he agrees to make Ruby happy. However, now Calvin starts to feel lonely without Ruby even if it's just one day without her. He asks Ruby to stay with him forever, but Ruby stresses that there needs to be some space in the relationship. As more time goes by, Calvin feels more lonely and then one day, Ruby skips visiting him so that she can spend the night out with her friends from art class. Calvin starts to get paranoid that Ruby might leave him, so he decides to control Ruby through his writing. He takes his typewriter and writes down that Ruby is miserable without him. Soon he receives a phone call from Ruby who wants to come back and live with him. Ruby now spends all of her time with Calvin. She doesn't want to let go of him even for a second. She truly starts to get miserable without him. She clings on to him all day and follows him everywhere he goes. If Calvin mistakenly takes his hand away from her, Ruby starts crying. Calvin definitely isn't in love with this version of Ruby. He goes back to his typewriter and writes down that Ruby's happy all the time. And with that, Ruby starts feeling happy throughout the day and night. Calvin talks to his brother about what's happening between him and Ruby, and now he's been writing about Ruby so she fits into his ideal girlfriend. With the sad Ruby, Calvin couldn't do anything or go anywhere. But with this happy Ruby, Calvin realized that it, it doesn't matter if he's in her life or not. Ruby's happy with just about anything. Calvin yet again changes her by writing, Ruby is Ruby, happy or sad. With Ruby giving back control to her mind, their relationship doesn't go as planned by Calvin. They start having fights and Ruby admits that something isn't going right about them. To freshen up her mood, Calvin invites her to a party of a famous writer. He leaves Ruby unattended in the party as he has to go meet some important people who are willing to get his book published. Later, as he goes looking for Ruby, he stumbles upon his ex-girlfriend Lila. The two start talking and the topic soon changes into their breakup. Lila breaks it down to Calvin that the reason behind their breakup was him. She tells him that he's self-centric and only cares about himself. He wants everyone in the world to be how he likes. Calvin doesn't take the criticism positively and excuses himself to go find his girlfriend. In the meantime, Ruby meets the party host, Langdon Tharp, who invites her to swim with him in his swimming pool. Calvin later finds Ruby getting in the pool with Langdon Tharp. He gets angry and takes Ruby back to his house. He demands an explanation from Ruby on what she was doing. Ruby explains that she was alone in the party and wanted some company. Calvin doesn't stop complaining and tells Ruby to act decently. Ruby finally lets go of her anger. She tells Calvin that he cannot take control over her actions. It's her life and she gets to decide what she wants to do. At this point, Calvin tells her that he indeed can make her do anything he wants and he indeed can control her. He slowly moves away from Ruby, goes to his writing room and gets his typewriter ready. Ruby packs her clothes and tells Calvin that she needs some time alone and that they can talk tomorrow. Calvin doesn't pay attention to her and starts writing down something that will take effect on Ruby. After he finishes writing, Calvin tells Ruby to leave. 
When Ruby tries to get out of the room, an invisible force stops her from leaving. No matter how many times she tries, she can't get out of the room. She's scared and asks Calvin what's happening to her. Calvin takes a page out of the typewriter and asks her to read it. Ruby takes the page and is still not sure what it is. Calvin gives her the entire book which he's been writing about Ruby and tells her that she was created out of his imagination and writing. Ruby finds this revelation hard to believe and tells Calvin to stop joking with her, but Calvin sits down and makes her speak in French. Hearing herself speak French, a language she doesn't know how to speak, Ruby starts to panic. She asks Calvin to stop it, but Calvin makes her uncontrollably snap her fingers. He makes her sing and dance and even act like a dog. He makes her repeatedly say, I love you. Calvin smiles and slams his desk as he gets out of control. Ruby finally falls down from exhaustion and Calvin tries to help her, but Ruby gets away from him and locks herself in a room. Calvin finally realizes what he's been doing is wrong and he cannot play God with someone else's life. He writes down after that that Ruby leaves his house and she's no longer his creation and she's totally free. He takes the paper and he leaves it outside Ruby's room. He wakes up the next day to find that Ruby is left. As per his writing, Ruby is now free. Months have gone by and Harry suggests Calvin to get back to writing something and get his mood up. He suggests Calvin write about his and Ruby's story. And Calvin does exactly that. He writes the story of how he created Ruby and everything that followed after. He writes the story without ever mentioning her name and detailing too much about her life as he didn't want the real Ruby to find out about it, if there is a real Ruby in the world. Soon his book gets published and becomes a bestseller with everybody believing it to be fiction. Then one day, when he's taking Scotty out for a walk, he finds a girl who looks just like Ruby who's been reading his book. Calvin realizes that she doesn't know who he is and doesn't reveal that he's the writer of the book. It's like life is giving him another chance at love and this time, he'll make sure to not ruin it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more movie recaps.